Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for another tutorial and today we are going to create that a UE element can follow the mouse cursor. So we're going to start with uh, pressing your right button and create a new C sharp script and call it UE follow mouse. And we are going to start with a few things. So we need a rect transform, which is the transform of the UE element. So before we can use it, we need to define it. So using Unity Engine dot UE. So now we got that, and we're going to put it, uh, going to put some variables right here. So the very first one is of course a public rect transform the moving object. The second variable, I think this is logic, is a public vector tree called offset. The third variable is a public vect uh, rect transform called basis object. And this is like the parent or whatever you want to call it. This object makes sure that the set axis, so the depth, of the object is just at one place and won't get to all weird positions and things like that. Then we also got the last thing and that's a public camera because we need to translate the screen coordinates to world, a world point. So we're going to create a new function, public void move object. So here, the very first thing we're going to do is creating a new variable called position. So this is the position, and that's of course the same as input dot get, whoops, dot mouse position. So I think that's logic, but we're also going to add the offset to it. So you can just change the um, the position depending on the mouse cursor just a little bit while you're in, within a game, or if you just think like, well, it should be there or whatever. Then we need to reset the set variable of the position because that's the depth and we don't want to use the depth. So we're just going to say, well, it's from the bas basis object and from that the position and from that the set axis. The last thing we're going to do is from the moving object, we are going to set the position towards the Cam, and then we're going to translate that uh, the position we just calculated towards a world point. So screen to world point, and then we're just going to put position within this. So it means we're going to translate this variable. Then we're going to put within the object function move object. So we're just going to move this object. That's all it does. All right, so now we've got this um, script ready. And we are going to use it. And we are just going to go towards the main camera. And we are just going to add this script. And what we're going to do is create a UE and then the canvas, whoops, uh, we're going to create a canvas. And we're going to change a little bit, uh, a few things about it. The screen space is going to be camera, we're going to assign the camera towards it, and we're going to say that it will scale with the screen size. Then also we're going to create a new UE um, uh, image, and this is the basis object. And we're just going to right click on it and duplicate it and we're going to say that this is the moving object. And we're just going to make this one blue, just to make sure that you can see it. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller. And now what we're going to do, so this is the center. So we're going to put this towards the left. So hold shift and click on this position. So it's on the left top. And then we're going to uh, 
also set this one that it won't have a raycast target. And that's important because otherwise you can click a button that's beneath it. So now we're going to assign everything. So the basis object, the moving object. And we're going to say that it's also, well, let's say five pixels uh, of change, a little bit here. Um, and this is minus five because it will go down. And also just assign the camera. And then we're just going to play it and just let's see if it works. So as you can see, it works. It's uh, still a little bit weird, but it works like it should be. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial that will go about how to create an inventory within Unity. Bye.